national celebration for football people everywhere. Little Jimmy Amelia on the far side, still without a contract. And Big Rod Atkinson, party to one of the toughest contracts in football, because it demands that he brings a major trophy to Manchester United. suspended the Brighton captain comes out with George Aitken the assistant to Jimmy Melia so Brighton without their suspended captain Foster will have Gatting and Stevens in the middle of the defense the two inexperienced fullbacks either side of them Ramsey and Pierce in midfield a lot depends on Case and Grealish who've played here before Smiley will be on their right Howlett on their left up front Michael Robinson and Gordon Smith Manchester United field nine of the team which lost here in the Milk Cup final two months ago. Missing are Remy Moses, like Foster suspended, and Steve Coppel who's injured. But Brian Robson is back to give his class and thrust to the midfield. And the number 11 shirt for the right-sided midfield player, finally going to 21-year-old Alan Davis. Playing his first FA Cup tie after starting only three league matches for Manchester United. But youth predominates here today because there are so many players on the pitch who've not been in big-time football very long. What about Norman Whiteside? Only just 18, but almost a veteran when you think how much has happened to him in the last 15 months. And if you go back that far, you would find Brighton's left-back Graham Pearce playing for Alliance League Barnet. His manager there, Barry Fry, always told me that he was good enough for league football, but a cup final a year later has put Pierce in dreamland. If he's looking for reassurance, he could recall that his opposite number, the United number three, Arthur Orbiston, came into the 1977 final at short notice when he was 19 and was many people's man of the match. Referee Gray was in charge of the Liverpool-Brighton match in the fifth round, actually and was also here as a linesman when Manchester United played Southampton in 76. Manchester United in red and Brighton in blue, the two sides able to keep their normal colours. And to the usual clamour, the FA Cup final is underway. The 102nd, here's Gordon McQueen for Manchester United, who are playing from right to left. Looks for Stapleton, over his head. That was turned back by Gatting. Gatting is actually wearing number six, and Stevens is wearing number five. A long kick by Mosley. The Queen felt he was impeded, and Robinson goes in as Alderston's header just reached Bailey. Now the pace off the pitch of the ball is going to be more than interesting. in front of the back four. Brian Robson will want to push on through the centre if he can for United. Duxbury. Right side was beaten by Gatting. Michael Robinson. Intercepting Wilkins' pass. Arnold Muren starting off very deep. Orbiston. Muren. Away from Tony Grealish. Nicely done by the Dutchman and he tries to spread the play out to Alan Davis. Just the faintest touch from Howlett and the ball's out.
Jamie Case. Pierce in a tight corner with Davis after him. Two of the players who will be experiencing Wembley nerves surely. Grealish. It was risky. Orbiston. Stapleton. Orbiston's made it run through the centre. Joining the attack for United. Wilkins is supporting from midfield. Brian Robson, number seven. Case crashing into it. That's going to be quite a contest. And Robson's ankle, which he was holding there, has been the cause of some concern to Manchester United. He's been having treatment. And Case caught him. It's a free kick, and McQueen could be a threat on these set plays. He's number six, waiting to come in from the near side. It's chipped in, and up goes Gatting. Alberston. McQueen has stayed forward here for United. Stapleton. He's got away from Michael Robinson. And right across, and Davis came in on the far side. And could have made a name for himself there in the first five minutes. The lad playing his first cup tie. Stapleton turned away from Michael Robinson, got down almost to the line, and chipped a good ball in with his left foot. The goalkeeper was struggling, and Davis got a header, which sent the ball wide. Well, what a start for him. McQueen. Tucked back in there by Gordon Smith as Brighton try to find their touch. And Stapleton, a lovely interception. Arnie Mirren. Oh, it caught out Howlett. Right side. And Robson. Davis wide of him. Given away to Howlett, but here's Ray Wilkins with the cross. Stapleton coming in. And there was a foul on the goalkeeper. Jimmy Melia thoughtful, but uh, Ron Atkinson on the far side must have felt there that uh, United were in with a chance of scoring in their first dangerous attack. Here's Ramsey. Mirren. Looks for Whiteside. Good touch. Robson couldn't quite take it on the chest, and he fouled Ramsey. Center. That's how bad the pitch is. Stapleton, Case had no chance there. Wilkins, Duxbury. Robson, the ball <laughs> sticking there in that central area. They'll want to get it wide if they can, where it's rather firmer. Orbiston. And the early play, all with Manchester United. Wilkins, Muren, Orbiston. Whiteside calling in the centre for a cross. He slipped as it came over. Case for Brighton. Gatting, left-footed player. Case hitting one with the outside of his foot, testing Alderston. McQueen, Murren, Stapleton's on this side. Making a little run down the left, pursued by Stevens. The one-two was played with Muren, but Stevens did well to intercept. Muren, and that wasn't read by Stapleton. Kevin Moran for United, Wilkins. Well, the benefit of being here before this season, enabling Manchester United to find their touch early, Stapleton. And that was Smiley getting a tackle in. Grealish, away from Wilkins, and now Gatting. Oh, 
Smith. Good tackling back there by Davis. Here's Muren. Wilkins to his right. But Muren good enough to find a better option. Augustin. Wilkins. White side. Wilkins again and Smiley in the way as Brighton pull ten players back to withstand this early Manchester United charge. And the outlet is Michael Robinson. There's Grealish. Smiley. Case. Pierce has made a run from left back. Smiley. Robinson is in the centre. Here's Case. He'll try and find his shooting range if he can, but he was checked first by Wilkins, then by Davis. Now it's Pierce for Brighton. Morin. Wilkins driving it forward for Norman Whiteside, but it's too long. Robinson, oh, only as far as Murin. And right side through the centre, what a good challenge by Stevens. Twice, in fact, this lad's some player. And without Foster, Brighton need that sort of determination at the heart of their defence, and Stevens there saved them. Orbiston. Wilkins to Duxbury. Davis. Inside for Stapleton, what a good knockback. Grealish beat Robson to it, though. And United again win the ball. Muren. Wilkins, Muren, and a foul given. Wilkins was fouled. Jimmy Case argues about that, but the referee was quite sure. Steve Foster, sitting on the Brighton bench, must be wondering now how his colleagues will cope in his absence if the ball is floated across for Stapleton, McQueen, or Moran, who are all waiting to come in from the far side. Muren chips. Smiley clears. Duxbury retrieves. Just over ten minutes gone and no score. McQueen. Robson. Wilkins. United moving the ball swiftly and neatly. Davis is crossed. Right side! Manchester United moving into their stride early in the match and as the ball was worked well down the right Whiteside got the flying header going away from the far post but from a different angle as United build on the right Wilkins and Davis have combined well there Whiteside made contact and Davis is seeing an awful lot of the ball Duxbury. Duxbury. Oh, it was a poor one. Jimmy Case for Brighton. Yet to mount their first serious attack. Here's Grealish, though. In for Smith. Back again to Case. Grealish. Good ball. Robinson laid it off to Howlett, who can hit them from here. McQueen's interception. Wilkins needing to make it and stretching against Jimmy Case. Wilkins got caught. The referee didn't see it as a foul. Grealish for Brighton. Smith. Muren with the challenge. And Wilkins is back on his feet. Case is digging in a bit there, as we thought he would. Been involved in tackles already with Robson and Wilkins. Stapleton's header. Brian Robson, Stapleton. 
Gutting this time gets in. And then Howlett. Robinson. Smith. Robinson. Smiley is on this wing. Smiley for Brighton. Taking on Augustin. And McQueen. A promising move by Brighton. Now, they haven't got Foster to go forward to threaten McQueen in the United defence, but they have got Stevens and Gatting, who will support Robinson. <laughs> Stevens came in there. Muren for United. Gatting plays it behind Tony Grealish, who still gets there. It's fast and furious in this opening quarter of an hour. Grealish square to Smiley. Number eight, Howlett. Chipping one in for Gordon Smith. It's there! Gordon Smith for Brighton after 14 minutes. The man who played in the Scottish League Cup final earlier this season opens the scoring in the English FA Cup final. And Gordon Smith, who's been in such good scoring form of late, proves the point again. Smiley was working the ball well to the right. And when the cross came in, Smith came in between the two United defenders and beat Bailey beyond his left hand. And young Gary Howlett with the cross. What a good ball by the 20-year-old. It found out more than McQueen, and Smith punished them. The underdogs have taken the lead, perhaps just what the cup final needed. 14 minutes gone. Gordon Smith, who scored in four of the last eight games before today, produces a fine start for Brighton. Muren will take the free kick for Manchester United. McQueen is up there, so is Moran here. And Howlett that will give him. So Robinson's gone on down the left. Oh, the Brighton fans are celebrating, but the danger for them is that they might have scored too early. Robinson. Smith's on the far side again, and Alderston concedes the corner. And the Brighton chairman, with his wife Jean there in the Royal Box, sees his side take the lead. The unpredictable quality of the FA Cup. Manchester United had all the play, and Brighton, only in their second attack, have taken the lead. Robinson waits. Stevens and Gatting are behind him. The flag's up there, that was out, and here's Jimmy Hill to comment on that Brighton goal. To comment, John, on that breathtaking goal, I mean, as you say, it really has brought the cup final to life. I said there were no signs of nerves in the Brighton side, and that was obvious. The first chance they got to strike, they were confident, competent, a lovely little chip from Howlett, and I'm afraid the United defenders, who are supposed to be superior in the air, were very much at fault in lying at Smith to get in the middle of them, and Brighton are at it again. Yes, it was a well-worked move. Smiley was involved, and Howlett supplied the cross, and Smith the finish. And here's Robinson. Well, it's a reverse position here for Ron Atkinson. His team led for so long in the Milk Cup final and were overhauled. Now they've got to do the catching up. Brian Robson, a lot will depend now on his example. Orbiston. Brighton, on their first ever visit to Wembley, have the cheek to take the lead.
Duxbury, Davis. Well, there were two United headers that went wide. Brighton's went in. Whiteside turned away from Gutting and Stevens was covering. Well played by Gary Stevens. These corners to be curled in by Arnold Muren from the right-hand side have paid such dividends earlier this season for Manchester United. McQueen is up again on the line. Whiteside, it came off Pierce. Whiteside, can he tuck it back in? Moran and Robinson, and knocked back in by Robson. McQueen is there, and it's still free, and Whiteside's there, and what a scramble sorted out by Gatting. This is like a third-round cut tie in January. They're scrambling in the penalty area, and anything can happen. And Robson, the flag's up for a foul. The referee, I don't think, has seen it. Linesman over here, Colin Downey was flagging then. Play on, they say. Wilkins. Gutting's header. Stapleton's in there. Moran is still forward, swinging his boot. Dangerous play. Well, so often in cup finals, we've had a tentative start. Both teams cautious. Today, it's a very exciting opening 20 minutes. Mick Brown on the far side on the United bench, hoping that they can calm down and exert their class. Jimmy Amelia's side have the lead. The pitch, if anything, is adding to the incident. Howlett stopped by Moran. Pierce, Case, Gordon Smith. Case again. Grealish is square. Stevens, Brighton building nicely now. Smiley. Robson with a blockbusting tackle which has left Smiley winded. But Manchester United know that they can't play on reputations now, if indeed they could in the first place. Orbiston. 20 minutes gone in the 1983 Cup Final. Brighton and Hove Albion 1, Manchester United 0. The long ball from Gatting. Moran using an arm perhaps on Robinson. Free kick back to Brighton. Pierce to take it. That was Duxbury. And Whiteside seemed to have turned Gatting, but he then slipped. The turf just inside the touchlines. Also very greasy. Samat so Busby, who's been to Wembley so often with Manchester United. Offside against right side. Remember Samat so bringing Manchester United here. In the final you may have read about back in 48 when they were losing to Blackpool and his message was keep playing football. They came back and won 4-2. Can they come back today? Pierce, Stapleton, nicely done, Davis, Stapleton pulling wide, trying to draw the defenders, Wilkins was brave, Davis was tricky, Stapleton with the cross, the second time Wilkins has been injured in a collision with Jimmy Case,
So with Wilkins still down, the play has got to be stopped. And here's Jimmy Hill's view of that incident. Well, I don't blame the referee because it was a tackle just after the ball. He went in very fiercely. Wilkins got the ball and you can see him getting his foot then. The referee spotted it but played the advantage and uh, as quite rightly he should have done in the circumstances but because of that I think he lost sight of the fact how seriously Wilkins was injured that's very sore there's no question about it uh, both sides have uh, not pulled out when it's come to tackles up to now on this pitch I don't think you can accuse anybody really of going for the man and not the ball because with the slidey surface that's part of the game of football and everyone accepts that uh, but uh, Brian Watson has gone in and one or two tackles in the middle of the field. Tony Grealish has been battling away there. And it's Wilkins is the one who is in trouble. I was a little worried about United's reaction to that goal. There was just a moment when I was looking and saw them stand, holding their heads in their hands as if, oh, here we go again, we're behind at Wembley. Let's take one more look at that incident. You can see that Wilkins knows he's going to get the ball and Case whoops a daisy right down on the ankle and you can see the way it propelled him round, the force of that jump. It was a jump at an opponent, it wasn't a tackle, they played the advantage, but thank goodness Wilkins is up. And there goes Whiteside with Stevens winning a corner. Wilkins is up, but he's still feeling the effects of the challenge. In the meantime... Moran and McQueen, having been caught out at the other end, now try to put matters right from a Manchester United corner to be swung in. Oh, really an outswinger now with the left foot of Muran. And up goes McQueen, and it's loose, but that's for Stapleton. And here's Muran. Just wonder there. Jimmy, uh, Ray Wilkins clearly upset with the challenge of Jimmy Case and appeared to say as much to the referee. And one wonders whether there might be a little bit of revenge taken there if tempers aren't called. Well, I would hope not. Uh, I don't think uh, Ray is the sort to want to take revenge. Uh, there's a lot at stake and they're battling on a slippery ground. And it, I don't see any real signs of bad feeling. I think it'll die down. 20 minutes left in the first half. Brighton lead by one goal to nil, scored by Gordon Smith. Here's Stapleton for United, the ball was out, according to the linesman. Well, Manchester United knew that Case and Grealish would want to get to grips with Wilkins and Robson in the middle of the field. Robinson, Smiley. Smith and this time the linesman feels the ball stayed in the touchline's heavily caked in mud here's Stapleton Duxbury Davis nicely back to Duxbury that was a good ball Robson Six red shirts forward for him to aim at. Duxbury, Wilkins. Smith got in there, the first touch has to be so exact. Playing a 1-2 on this surface. And Gordon Smith got it right, beautiful touch. Grealish looking for Pierce, the left back. As Brian Robson has to track back and wins a free kick. Well, those two fellas wouldn't have been on the same pitch. 18 months ago, Brian Robson, the captain of England, and uh, the Brighton left-back, Graham Pearce, who came from Barnet. Moran for United. Stapleton. Powerful header by McQueen. Stapleton in pursuit. Has to pull wide, but the ball again holding up on the pitch. Still Stapleton. Looking for Wilkins, but it was an interception. First by Howlett, then by Orbiston. Wilkins now. Stapleton is coming in behind Grealish. He got there, and so did Mosley. 
Stapleton got goal side of Tony Grealish, as you'll see from this. The header was palmed round by Mosley. Not easy to take corners from the near side because the ground is so heavy. Davis has come across to curl it in. And McQueen arrives again. Here's Davis. And McQueen and Moran have stayed forward. And Gatting came to meet Stapleton. to Whiteside, he's still got support here from Davis and the tall players are still in the centre, Muren will try and find them, it was Robson who came in and a spot of shoving by him gives Brighton a breather. to Robinson. Davis has worked the right side quite effectively. Here's White side, but he can't turn. Davis again. And still Davis. Well played. If he can get this across. Oh, and Robson was coming in. And Mosley from Davis's cross managed to smother it. Cross didn't quite have the angle or the pace to find the two players waiting in the middle. But Alan Davis, so new to this scene, has had a promising first half so far, even though his side are a goal down. Here's Smith. Half an hour gone here, and it's Smith's goal which separates the two teams. Robson for Manchester United. And Muren finds Orbiston. White side against Ramsey. Another corner to Manchester United. And look at the leap by McQueen. It's going to come out to Wilkins. Good ball in. And McQueen again off the line by Ramsey. Was it over? The ball isn't out yet, Muren, and Robson, good save by Mosley. And just for a moment, after Ramsey had cleared from McQueen, the header off the line, it was an appeal by McQueen for a goal, I don't think it was over, so Ramsey takes the credit, the 21-year-old fullback for making a timely Brighton clearance, and then Mosley, with a brilliant save, going to his left to foil Brian Robson. All the incident has been at the Brighton end, apart from the goal. Wilkins. Muren. Moran and Whiteside's chasing here. Stevens holding his ground well. He and Gatting have looked very firm, and Jimmy Case tries to put Smiley away. And he has got some pace as Smiley. He's up against Moran. And he licked him. Robinson came in. 
Smiley prefers the right flank to the left, but given space, he'll attack the last man. And he did it there, the man being Kevin Moore. Robinson had seen what might be on and came towards the near post, hotly pursued by McQueen. And when the ball came in, there was McQueen just putting Robinson off sufficiently for the shot to go over. Stevens. Just came off uh, Stevens' head there, and Pierce was the covering player for Brighton. Here's Ramsey. Smiley turning Alderston. And Brian Robson, a mighty tackler. Grealish into Case. Case to Smith. Manchester United, who came from behind to beat Arsenal in the semi-final, now being asked to come from behind against Brighton in the final. Stapleton, white side. What a fine stop that was by Graham Mosley. It was an instant strike by Brian Robson, and he was down to his left to hold it. Wilkins, Murray. Plenty of possession for Manchester United, but do they have the imagination to open up a Brighton defence which has played confidently, although they've had one or two scary moments in the penalty area? Orbiston. Here's Orbiston, and here's Muren. And again, it was Davis coming in at the last, Robson to chip it back in, away by Gatting. Ten minutes left in the first half, and the pace has never slackened. Grealish for Brighton, and McQueen goes in to win it from Case. The ricochet favours United, Robson. Davis, kept the ball in. Davis a good run, and here's Whiteside, and it deflected off Case. There's the man, and you can see why Ron Atkinson picked him, really, because the shape of the side is as it would be with Steve Koppel there. Ashley Grimes wouldn't get in, and obviously Cunningham wasn't quite fit, and this man has made an impression. Most of United's opening up of Brighton has been through his runs. Quite a promising player, and he could have an effect on the match yet. So the Brighton fans at the tunnel end, which in recent years has tended to be the lucky end for the supporters. Their side lead, but here's Stapleton for Manchester United. Tucked back nicely by Davis to Wilkins. Duxbury is well forward on the right. Wilkins again. And Mosley comes to meet Stapleton. Here's the goal scorer, Gordon Smith. Grealish. Davis looks around and waits for Duxbury to make a run outside him. He's now gone inside. And Davis runs in the end into Gatting. Pierce. Moran. Grealish for Brighton. Good challenge by Brian Robson. Onside, no. No. The flag was rather late in going up, but it did go up in the end against Norman Whiteside. One of those decisions, very difficult for a referee and a linesman to make there. Norman Whiteside was hanging off, there was a bump-bump on the ball, but it did fly. You can see he was in an offside position, but it took the linesman a moment to make up his mind which side the ball had come from. But he got it right in the end.
Wilkins. Murin. And Smiley is giving Murin no time at all, and that's the way teams tend to play against the Dutchman. Moran. Case. Gary Howlett's shown one or two nice touches in midfield, quite apart from making the goal. Here's Ramsey. Robinson started a run through the centre. Offside. Offside. Ramsey supplied the pass. It was a good idea. Robinson trying to catch the Manchester United defence square here. And as Ramsey plays it through, yes, he's at least level and probably ahead of Moran. People often wonder what we mean when we say level. You're still offside if you're level with the last man. You have to be behind him. The moment the ball is played. Grealish. Smiley. Howlett. again back in 1976 Southampton waited a long time for their goal against Manchester United for the South Coast Club here Brighton Leeds United but their goal came early in the game from Gordon Smith. So, relegated Brighton, lead celebrated Manchester United. McQueen, Grealish. Five minutes left in the first half. It was Alderston. There's Smiley. Case is in a good position. He could strike one, perhaps. Howlett's there as well. Now Case. Smiley. Robinson over on the far side calling. And he's coming in now, is Robinson? Saved by Gary Bailey, Kevin Moran finding Robinson quite a handful. Smiley chipped the ball in, and Robinson came thundering in behind Moran, and Bailey had to clear. They haven't had many attacks, Brighton, but the ones they've had, they've made count. The bravery there of Robinson in the challenge, met by the fingertip save of the United goalkeeper. I must say Brighton have done so well, they've marshalled their resources very well indeed and they've detected a little flaw there in the United defence, both on the ground and in the air. Kevin Moran I don't think looks as sharp as he has been this season. He's beaten there that time in the air and of course he lost sight of his player uh, when the goal was scored behind his back. And they're also finding the odd moment to race him on the floor. And Gatting with the header, and cleared by Stapleton. Gatting, who scored against Manchester United in a league game at Old Trafford earlier this season, is hovering on the edge of the penalty area with Stevens. Discussion between the two, in fact, as Robinson and Smith take the positions nearer the goal line. the near post difficult area there for United here's Pierce here's Case and still Gatting and Stevens forward in the middle Grealish Robinson's there as well McQueen let it go and as Gatting came in behind them it could have been two 
the point that Jimmy Hill was making earlier, that there's a little weakness there, well, a big weakness, actually, in the Manchester United defence, because the ball crossed in diagonally is catching the centre-backs nearly every time. Moran was again the defender nearest to the ball. Here's Wilkins. Here's Augustin. And Wilkins coming in, oh, no, he's dropped it! But he held on, and the referee may also have given him the benefit of a free kick. It was an Orbiston cross, this, and Ray Wilkins is the furthest player forward for United. The goalkeeper has a heart-stopping moment here, he drops the ball. Falls back, it didn't go over the line, and Wilkins was penalised. Stapleton and Gatting now shows his calmness in defence. Ramsey. Muren for Manchester United. Brian Robson. Right side. Good tackle by Stevens, but Wilkins comes through. And now it's Case. Ran away from him rather, and he caught Davis. Another foul by Jimmy Case. And coming up to half time. Manchester United push forward, looking for the equaliser. Wilkins takes it. Robson goes in with Mosley. Free kick. One of the interesting things, Jim, is that you might have thought Brighton would miss Foster in their own penalty area and in United's, but Stevens and Gatting have made light of his absence. Absolutely strange, isn't it? Because they've defended very well. You know, they've been up, put under pressure, but they've responded very well, and they haven't looked short of power in the air. Whereas at the other end, where they've got plenty of height, uh, they've struggled. One of those weird things about the game. This has been an uncomfortable first half for the Manchester United defenders on the few occasions they've been tested. stoppage time now at the end of the first half Norman Whiteside put his foot in there on Gary Howlett and a little tussle there the ball played back in by Robson but to no other United player well there's Brighton favours the blue and white being waved joyfully as their supporters celebrate a first half in which the relegated side have taken the lead and kept it up till now. And the foul was by Gatting on right side. A word, I think, to Gatting from referee Alf Gray in passing. goes Stapleton and at half time Manchester United as they were in the FA Cup semi-final find themselves a goal behind scored by 28 year old Gordon Smith after 14 minutes a header from a cross by Gary Howlett in what was virtually Brighton's first dangerous move. But he's putting around a few words of encouragement, which Manchester United certainly need. The first 10 or 15 minutes of the second half, so vital here to Brighton's hopes of keeping their lead, it was the period in which Manchester United turned the semi-final against Arsenal. Smiley with the throw, back to Ramsey. And Smith is coming in. Moran got the ball away. Grealish. Howlett. Case. Brighton 
trying to make history here. A side has never won the FA Cup in the same season as being relegated. Gatting, white side. Here's Muren. And Gatting again. Once more, Muren. Forward by Robson, white side! Handball, handball. Spotted by referee and linesman, and Whiteside well aware of what he did. The ball played through, first of all, and then Robson and Muren combining. Stapleton edged it forward, and there's the left hand of Norman Whiteside. A clear case of a free kick the other way. So Whiteside involved in the opening attacks of the second half. In the first half, Manchester United had eight goal attempts to Brighton's three. McQueen. And here's Smiley. There'll be some players having to drag their feet across this pitch as the match wears on, but Smiley a nice one too. McQueen. Thundering in with the challenge, Smiley caught him as they got up. Case got tangled up with Robson. Davis in that muddy morass there in the centre of the pitch. And even making allowances for all this rain in London, Wembley is not what it was as far as the playing surface is concerned. Reminds me actually of that 1970 final between Chelsea and Leeds when we had a thrilling match in a mud bath which ended 2-2. Pierce, then Case colliding with Robson. Moran. Grealish. Duxbury. McQueen. Obvious now that Manchester United, more than ever before, are going to have to carry the game to Brighton. White side tucking it back to Wilkins. Stapleton's well forward. Good challenge by Chris Ramsey. McQueen. Smiley trying to catch him. Morin. And Grealish, that's a good little ball. Looking for Neil Smiley. McQueen, one of the quickest men in the business despite his size. Here's Ramsey. Smith. Duxbury intercepting for United. Finds Whiteside. Duxbury again. Wilkins. Ramsey not judging it particularly well, but no danger to him. Stevens, who's been immaculate at the heart of the Brighton defence up to now. Muren. 
Manchester United will look to him for some inspiration in the second half. Arnold Miran usually able to detect openings which other players might not see and indeed to find them with his left foot, but it's that sort of imaginative football that Manchester United must produce in order to unsettle Brighton. Header by Howlett. White side, foul now by Stevens. Wilkins to take the free kick. McQueen comes in from the far side. Those massed ranks of Brighton supporters there at the lucky end of the stadium We'll be pleased to see the scoreboard showing that Gordon Smith's goal still separates the two teams. But a long way to go in this 1983 FA Cup final. And Orbiston forward for Manchester United to Whiteside. Ramsey was hurt in a challenge with Whiteside and Stevens angry with the way the 18-year-old Irishman went into Ramsey there in the same way that uh, Jimmy Case is known to have a tackle which sometimes goes over the bounds of legality, Whiteside, the same could be said of him. Well, he left his foot in, John, there where he no need to have done, and he's hurt him as a result of it. Uh, he is an outstanding player, there's no question. Full of talent, very strong, but he has, on the odd occasion, let himself down, I think, with over-physical tackles like that. We see it now coming up. Good control on the chest, really, but he's beaten. Pierce is there, and you can see that. As he sweeps the ball away, the left foot there comes down on his shin, and he could be quite badly hurt. I know that players shrug these things off and get on with the game. That's because the luck has broken their way. There's always a danger with a late tackle like that that damage could be done. He'll have a sore shin, but let's hope he can continue. Meantime, Manchester United have the throw, and here's Muren. Augustin and Stapleton and McQueen seem to get in each other's way there. Neither made contact. And Case was the player who sorted things out for Brighton. Had a birthday this week, Jimmy Case, he was 29 on Wednesday. Ramsey is still hobbling quite badly at right back for Brighton, hoping to run it off. Orbiston, and they've got Jerry Ryan prepared in case, the substitute. Here's Duxbury. Nice touch back inside by Davis. Duxbury. Right side, Stapleton! in white side at the near post and stapleton makes history in the fa cup the first man ever to score for two different clubs in two different finals he scored against united here for arsenal in 79 and now he scores for united against brighton in 83 that particular feat has never been achieved before and poor Chris Ramsey, the victim of Whiteside's tackle only a few minutes earlier, is off the pitch and suddenly the match turns against Brighton in more ways than one. Their lead has disappeared and their shape has been affected by the injury.
because Jerry Ryan is a forward player. Can he fill in at right back? Or will Brighton have to switch the side around? And he's gone at first anyway, straight into Ramsey's position. Otherwise, they would have had to have fiddled around and perhaps moved Stevens out of the middle of the back. I don't want to do that because there are no other natural defenders around to fill in there. So it's Ryan at right back and it's 1-1 with Stapleton scoring for Manchester United. And poor Chris Ramsey, what a sad end for him to what was his big day. Just 21, he's carried off, and his side now are back where they started, but with a weakened team, positionally anyway. Stevens. The period just after half-time, when Manchester United struck back so fiercely against Arsenal in the semi at Villa Park, the same thing has happened again here. Now it's a time when perhaps Foster's leadership will be missed. But there goes Smith, beaten by McQueen. Here's Smiley, beaten by Orbiston. Muren. And Smiley actually has gone down after that last challenge as well. The luck has turned now against the underdog, Stapleton. Muren, only Whiteside in the middle. But he played a part in the goal, did Whiteside. And one has to say also, he was responsible for Ramsey's injury. Smiley is limping after that last challenge by Orbiston over on the far side. So Brighton at the moment have got their substitute on and they've only got 10 fit men. Grealish. And Manchester United must know now that opportunity beckons for them in a way that a side with their pedigree should surely accept with the equaliser on the scoreboard and the whole balance of play in their favour. Muren. Stapleton's made a run across the area. And here he is, Orbiston is forward. And Davis couldn't reach it. The flag's up for a free kick the other way. So, 1-1, Jimmy Hill. Well, I think United were rather lucky to get back in the game there because I must say they didn't start the second half in any inspirational fashion or with any new ideas, but they just got the one break as a result of that injury. Here they come again, White sides two. Keeper's got it. I just wondered whether it was going to be Mosley's day. Things have run for him so well. Um, you know, even the ball he dropped came back to him and he's made two or three very good saves, but uh, Stapleton was there, he only just got his foot to that ball, showing what a marvellous finish it is when he came across. But uh, apart from that, of course, until that point, United hadn't done it, but there's a different ball game now. Their tails are up, and Brighton have got to battle back to get in the game again. The news of Chris Ramsey is that he has a badly twisted ankle offside there against Michael Robinson. But with an hour gone and the score 1-1, it's savage in one way, if you were a Brighton supporter, how fast cup finals can turn. But for Manchester United, there's a wonderful chance now to take a grip on this match. Case. Howlett. Smiley has come over to the left. Howlett looks the other way to Gordon Smith on the right. Heels for handball, but it was Muren and it was unintentional. Ryan. And Smiley, it hits his own player, Robinson.
right side, Robson. Wilkins. Stapleton, right side. And Ryan trying to hold off Stapleton. Stevens. Case. Oof. And here's Howlett. Duxbury in the way. Flags up for offside. Well, he always seems to be involved in some fashion in the big games, Norman Whiteside. And certainly when they show that goal over and over again, people will mention his contribution in the near post area before Stapleton finished it off. Muren seeing an awful lot of the ball now for Manchester United. And Robson making a run from the centre of the field. Here's Ryan. Stevens forward to Case. Here's Smiley. He switched sides now. And Smiley shakes for a shot. Contact lenses, uh, Neil Smiley. But he set his sights there, and uh, Glenn Wilson, the Brighton trainer there, famous figure at the club, walking back from the dressing room with Chris Ramsey. So unlucky. But uh, no doubt in my mind that that injury was caused by the Norman Whiteside challenge. Jimmy Hill agrees. Here's Orbiston for Manchester United. Murin. And Robson's got forward, it was hooked on by Stapleton. Duxbury's foul on Smiley. And as the second half wears on, and you feel that the flow of the game must go with United now you still admire the Brighton spirit had to reshuffle the team in the right back position and that's where Jerry Ryan is making his tackle now only as far as Orbiston and Whiteside is trying to get behind Ryan and couldn't in for Stapleton Whiteside and here's Brian Robson Again, it was uh, Stevens that got a foot in, and he's done it so many times. The play for the moment with Manchester United, Duxbury. And Whiteside kicks the ball in. Davis in a puddle there, gets it back to Wilkins. And Stapleton! The most envied centre-forward in Europe, surely. One of the most unselfish, which is why the other players will be so pleased that it was him who scored. Stapleton. 
right side. Wilkins. Alderston on again for Murray. Oh, it's a nice little ball to Alderston, but didn't seem quite ready to take it. This FA Cup final being seen live in so many countries, but Holland is one of them where there's so much interest, obviously, in Arnold Muren. Here's Stevens for Brighton. <laughs> Foul. Wilkins on Grealish. Well, the pitch has certainly added to the competitive, compelling nature of the match. Smith. Here's Grealish and Brighton moving quite nicely again now. Stevens was forward. Well, relegated they may be. But overall today, they're certainly not. And Manchester United still have some work to do if they're going to win the cup 1-1 one, one. had extra time the last two years remember and we are halfway through the second half at the moment and there's Jimmy Case going in on Norman Whiteside Ryan Smiley who seems to have shaken off the injury that he received a few minutes ago Certainly running uh, more normally now. Robinson. McQueen. Actually, it's Whiteside who seems to be suffering after a challenge by Case. Here's Stapleton. Augustin's made a run down the left wing. And the ball ricochets to Pierce off Whiteside. And is then intercepted by Muren. Robson. can't recall a final which has flowed quite as fast as this one in recent years. It isn't all top quality stuff, it couldn't be on a pitch like this, but it's full of the type of challenges which you tend to get in the British game. Here's Muren out to Whiteside. And indeed full of uncertainties too at this stage still. Muren, Wilkins, was well played by Ryan here he is again Davis finding Duxbury who's been a useful ally to him on the right Stapleton pulling away now as well Duxbury Wilkins McQueen Stapleton makes his run Gatting matches him. And Brighton forced to pull all their players back into their own half as Manchester United build again with Arnold Muren. An ambitious ball which Howlett cuts out. And Davis. An opening here perhaps for Davis. And right side. What a good block. That was a great challenge by Gary Stevens because Whiteside was on for glory again there. And so too was Alan Davis who set the play up. The ball was won here by Alan Davis and he managed to jig it through to Whiteside. But watch Stevens the five. It was a good sliding block there to prevent what might well have been Manchester United's second goal. 20 minutes left, they do have a corner. McQueen got his head to it, Robson was in there, and they appealed for a penalty. Referee just ran in the other direction. Well, it's still a fascinating contest. Brighton have not been really upset by the substitute fullback Jerry Ryan, because uh, the way the modern game's played, it's not so strange just for him to move back a yard or two and uh, adopt that wide ball on the white. So it's not really affected them. They're not. They're defending still very well indeed and looking for the opportunity to break. United, I feel, whatever happens at the end of today, will say that they haven't played well.
I feel they'll be disappointed with their game. They've had a lot of possession, but seem to lack that ounce of craft somewhere to open up the Brighton defence. I mean, maybe Muren is the guy who should supply it, I don't know. He didn't in the League Cup final or the Milk Cup final, and he's getting more possession now, and if anybody's going to do it, perhaps it'll be him. McQueen away from Robinson. White side. Muren. Jimmy Hill was just talking about, and he might just get Wilkins away on this side of the field. And Orbiston's made a run from the back, and Wilkins has curved one, and that's absolutely magnificent. Ray Wilkins has put Manchester United in front with a superb goal. And Wilkins has only scored five goals in four years at Manchester United. But the fifth, he'll always remember. Muren found him with a beautiful crossfield ball. And Ray Wilkins, you could compare that to Ronnie Whelan's shot in the Milk Cup final against United. That one counts in their favour. And the player for whom so much has gone wrong, but one of the most likeable men in the game, Ray Wilkins, scores a quite brilliant goal. And salutes the United fans and Matt Busby, who's seen all the great players down the years, and the modern manager, Ron Atkinson, will gloat over that one, and rightly so. A moment of glittering inspiration by Wilkins, the player who's had so many detractors, but who has always had a lovely technique. 2-1 to Manchester United, they've come from behind once again. When they talk about great cup final goals, that one will always get a mention. What a ball too from Arnold Muren, just as Jimmy Hill had been saying that his influence could make all the difference. He did just look up and see Wilkins make the run into acres of space. Brighton's left flank was undermanned in fairness. But you can't take anything away from the way that goal was made and certainly not from the way it was accepted. Made in Holland perhaps, but an English player showing that for all the criticism of their technique as against the Continentals, we do have footballers who can do the unexpected and do it on the big occasion. And a sign too of what a good two-footed player Ray Wilkins is. So, as Brighton tire, Stapleton puts white side forward for United. Powered by Pierce. It's all going one way now. Grealish disappointed with the decision, but it's too late to argue. United have a free kick. Muren on just behind the ball with Robson, who finds Wilkins again. He might fancy another one. Quite remarkable, Jimmy, really, isn't it, that before today, in four seasons at the club, he'd only scored four goals. One of the mysteries of the game, that, because he scored goals when he was a younger player, he scored them at Chelsea, and he's got a very strong shot and a very accurate shot. And he just went through that period of not being able to score, and then produced an extraordinary goal at just the right moment for his club. White side, 15 minutes to go. 2-1 to Manchester United. Now the first major trophy under Ron Atkinson's management is clearly in United sights. Muren. Orbiston, who was well forward in that earlier attack anyway. And Howlett lets the ball go. 
amid all the excitement and the clamour of the Manchester United fans, one has to again just make the point, in fairness to Brighton, that the injury to Ramsey came for them at an awful time. It happened while they were leading, and just after it had occurred, Manchester United equalised and he had to go off then. They will see that, Will Brighton, as a turning point in this cup final. And it shouldn't be overlooked. Gatting. This is Duxbury, and now it's Moran. Oh, and Wilkins and Case again. And Jimmy Case pushing the referee, I would have thought, very close to a booking here. But Wilkins, for the moment, has the last word. And poor Chris Ramsey can only reflect on how the afternoon turned against him and Brighton. Stapleton's up, Robson's in there, away by Pierce. Wilkins. But Smiley intercepts. And just a warning, perhaps, to the Manchester United faithful that Spurs seemed so much in command. It was an extra time, that admittedly, against QPR last year and got caught cold near the finish. So it's not over yet. Here's McQueen. Moran. And Brian Robson again. That was off McQueen's head, and then Robson's. had a good second half just when it was needed from him too how luck for Brighton have they got something left here's Smith here's Pierce Case being booed by the United fans Jerry Ryan's made a run up from right back this is Grealish it's Case again, the other fullbacks forward now, Pierce as well. And there was the Ryan flick into the chest of McQueen, and Whiteside wants the ball released early here as he grapples with Stevens. Free kick to Manchester United. Has Jimmy Melia's dream faded now? 11 minutes to go. Manchester United 2, Brighton and Hove Albion 1. And there's even a hint of sunshine around Wembley after the dreadful weather which preceded this match. Two-one was the score by which Manchester United beat Liverpool in 77, their last major success. And two-one is the score that the United fans are reminding their Brighton counterparts of now. Stapleton, Robson, Muren, back heel to Robson. There are five players waiting for a cross for United. Muren drives it away by Pierce. It's going to come to Wilkins. And Case tries to intercept. Whiteside was onto it, and there's a chance for Robson, perhaps. Side netting. Robson always dangerous on the left side. And Jimmy Case in doing some desperate defensive work there. Needs attention from Mike Yaxley, the Brighton physio. Deprived here in the Milk Cup final, Ron Atkinson. Spec! 
so keen to Stay up. join off, the no, illustrious predecessors of his, Eight. like Sir Matt Busby, who've won major trophies with Manchester United. some of the shame and embarrassment away from Bobby Trout and Laurie McMenemy and myself <laughs> which might have existed if Brighton had kept in front <laughs> I was just thinking there Jim you know Ray went through a terrible period last season when he just couldn't score and he actually ended the drought at Brighton in a league game not as spectacularly as he has today but he seems to pick his occasion Ray Wilkins the scorer of United's second goal there are eight minutes to go Duxbury and Smith trickery for Brighton here but they need rather more than that because Manchester United their appetite heightened now by the way they've come back with the FA Cup clearly in their sights and Davis who's played this undemonstrative but effective role on the right hand side in Coppel's absence and hasn't been overwhelmed by the occasion there's been some good possession on this side of the field for Manchester United. Mooring. And there hasn't been much of a threat at all in the second half from Brighton. Stapleton on. And back by Stevens. was Robinson, Smiley, beaten by Augustin. Free kick, it was Gatting who fouled Whiteside. Short to Stapleton, little touch to Brian. What a good back heel! Pierce away from Whiteside. Sweet football from United. The sort of move that you can construct when you're winning and when you're confident. Brian Robson, the England captain, setting the example. again to Grealish, Smiley started to run down the right hand side, Grealish says come shorter Ryan Brighton know that they've got to get forward to have any chance of saving the match but Manchester United have enjoyed so much possession in the second half here's Grealish though for Brighton for Robinson little touch in for Smith, back again to Robinson and Smith waits for Pierce. Never run by Smith. Was it a foul by Duxbury? Yes. There's still hope for Brighton here. Make no mistake about that. Five minutes to go. They may be 2-1 down, but they'll throw players forward now. Steve Foster, perhaps not wanting to look. But this could be his team's best chance of getting an equaliser. Curl by Case. Oof, Stapleton back there to make a vital headed clearance. Case. Gatting is still well forward on the far side. It's too long for him. But, uh, well, no wonder on Atkinson calls Stapleton the most complete centre forward in Britain or Europe. When he gets back and makes clearances like that in defence as well, 
it's a bonus because that was dangerous four minutes to go then 2-1 to United and Stapleton's mistake Smith away by McQueen Brighton still having the heart and the legs to make a fight of it in the closing stages all credit to them they've contributed so much to the day and it's not over yet Case with the corner he's pulled it back to Grealish little touch for Stevens. 2-2 two, two. Gary Stevens equalises with three minutes to go and sets the seal on what for him has been a fine personal performance and opens up the cup final again bad marking in defence and Stevens, with plenty of time, crashes the ball past Bailey. Case knocked that corner back, unusually perhaps, to Grealish. The little ball was played in. Stevens got it under control and finished it conclusively. So are we on for extra time? Or are we on to the sort of finish we had in 79 when Manchester United and Arsenal produced three goals in the last five minutes? Jimmy Melia's hopes revived with two and a half minutes of normal time now on the watch. Davis for United. Have they thrown it away? McQueen. Robson. Case looks for Robinson. Oh, that was awkward for Moran. Are we going to have extra time in the FA Cup final for the third year running? Wilkins. Duxbury. Whiteside tries to hold off his man and succeeds. But that man is Stevens. And even before the goal, one had the feeling that Gary Stevens would be nominated by many people as the outstanding player in this final. The fact that he scored the equaliser when some may have felt Brighton's chance had gone, just underlines the pride with which he's played. A bad ball by Ryan, only finds Robson. And now Orbiston in the attack. Whiteside. Stapleton will let it run. Muren. Crossed low and Stevens makes a clearance this time, which will give Manchester United a corner. Now, disregarding injury and stoppage time, there is a minute left. But Manchester United lost a cup final in the last minute to Arsenal. Could they win one here? Davis's corner. McQueen got a header on it. It was kept in. Robson's overhead kick. Howlett. Well, I talked about Chelsea Leeds in 1970 on a bad pitch, and it being 2 2, that's the score again now. As we enter stoppage time, Stevens. Well, the Seagulls flew into Wembley through the clouds and they appear to have at least extended the cup final now in bright sunshine Wilkins and Stapleton tries to knock it back inside here's Muren Davis is in there oh what a storybook finish that would have been Alan Davis, who was so close to opening the scoring in United's first attack, could so easily have scored their winner in what may be their last, 
of the normal period. Just look how near he was to sliding that ball in. But not near enough for Ron Atkinson. Smith for Brighton. Tackle by Orbiston. already added on two minutes for stoppage time there's a flag up for offside against Norman Whiteside which doesn't really matter now because we have got an extra 30 minutes and Manchester United who had only conceded one goal on the way to Wembley throughout their FA Cup run have now conceded two in one match the second of which by Gary Stevens saves the day for Brighton or at least prolongs it and just emphasizes what a marvellous 90 minutes he had. And the suspended Steve Foster has passed on a few words of encouragement to his colleagues. One also should say at this point that Remy Moses of Manchester United has also been ruled out of the final by suspension. So, endurance is the key now on a difficult pitch in extra time. Smith for Brighton, who are playing from left to right in the first period. And here's Jerry Ryan, wearing number 12, playing at right back. Robson for United. of the English weather clearly reflected this afternoon dreadful conditions at the start bright sunshine at the beginning of extra time Davis for Manchester United three in the centre Wilkins in support right side is up ran across the face of the goal to Murray corner the Brighton fans you're hearing not a good corner but a second chance maybe though for Davis to cross that's a better ball and Mosley put off by Robson who fouled him Smith and here's Case well played by Pierce Smith again Case still supporting Pierce and he's been fouled by Duxbury who seems to have got the worst of the collision but was the man penalised
Free kick then to Brighton. Who are back in business at 2-2. Grealish is forward. Case. Gatting is coming in from this side, taken away by Stapleton. And still Brighton press. Gary Stevens, whose goal forced the extra time. Ryan. Grealish. Pierce. Good running by Robinson off the ball in the inside left position. Took Moran with him. Corner. The persistence of Robinson was the key there. Always a good chaser of lost causes. Now, is Brighton's name written on the trophy after all? Howlett to take the corner. Robinson is up, so is Stevens there. Now, there's a... An offence by Stevens on as McQueen challenged with him. In fact, Gary Stevens, that's his first goal of the season, would you believe? And it comes in the cup final. He hadn't scored since September 1980. What a time to... We talked about Ray Wilkins ending a long period without a goal. What a time for Stevens to do so. Manchester United, five minutes into the extra period, certainly haven't restored the rhythm to their game, which they enjoyed for much of the second half. Only shaken by that unexpected equaliser. Howlett. And now Milan for Manchester United. Referee said play on. Whiteside's header, Stapleton beaten by Stevens. Smith for Brighton to Howlett. Two to his left. Smith. Grealish appealing for the free kick, but Wilkins allowed to continue. Brian Robson still putting his boot back on after an earlier incident. Orbiston. has been out of the play for about a minute putting his boot back on which is one reason why Wilkins didn't have too many alternatives in midfield here's McQueen they're calling for a long pass now Ryan Stapleton makes his way into the centre. Murin beaten first by Pierce, then by Ryan. And Robinson got a flick on, only Duxbury there. Understandable if the pace slackens in extra time on this difficult and heavy pitch. But Ron Atkinson so close, what, two and a half minutes to his first major trophy. It was not to be in normal time. Murin. mention uh, while United were leading 2-1 the fact that Spurs looked so safe last year and up popped Terry Fenwick of Queen's Park Rangers United look winners this year and along came Gary Stevens of Brighton the glorious unpredictability of the cup Wilkins to Stapleton but the foul has been given for the crashing tackle which brought Wilkins down after the ball had gone by Pierce Well, it's in a way a personal disappointment more for Wilkins than any other player because his goal was good enough to win any cup final in its own right. Stapleton up with Stevens. But Case still crashing into those tackles, so is Duxbury. Referee 
Alf Gray has penalised Jimmy Case. Wilkins, a quick free kick to Whiteside. But still Brighton repel Manchester United. Whiteside again. Four waiting for a cross. Robson gets up. But as Brighton man their ranks, it was Jerry Ryan that got the ball out, the substitute for a Manchester United corner. McQueen is actually on the line. And Mosley came to meet him and will get the benefit of the free kick. McQueen penalised. Just a reminder, as I seem to be saying this every year, that the replay is scheduled for Thursday night. Kick-off half past seven. Happened in 81 and 82, so I suppose you better make a few provisional plans again. Grealish forward for Brighton. But Smiley with the throw. Grealish, he got away from Muren there, but not from Wilkins. That's Ryan, played too far across for Howlett. And it's Davis bringing the ball down beautifully for Manchester United. He's shown some good touches and some sensible play too from him and from Wilkins. But Stapleton is stopped again by this 21-year-old Gary Stevens. Don't vote for the man of the match. All I can say is if there's anybody who's played better than Stevens, I'd be surprised. Forward by Gatton. McQueen with a half clearance. Here's Smiley. Case with the chip in, and, and Smith was there again, sneaking in behind Moran as he did to score Brighton's opening goal, Jimmy. It's happened continually. He's had really a poor game for him. I know he's a player that lots of people admire. Jimmy Melia wondering whether fate is going to just give him that last little happy touch of the season on the FA Cup. But he's had not a good game for him. It gives Brighton a chance every time they attack, really, with that chip ball. Manchester United now attacking. Whiteside tries to get in behind Gatting, but Pierce is there. Robinson chasing. This is Duxbury. Wilkins. McQueen. There's Muren. Certainly not such a quick game as it was, and that's Understandable. McQueen forward. White side couldn't reach it. Three minutes to go in the first period of extra time in the 1983 FA Cup final. Brighton and Hove Albion two, Manchester United two. Smiley. That's good pace. Robinson's coming to the near post. Oof! And Duxbury glad to get it out because Moran was all over the place. Smiley made a great run down the right. That's his great strength, really. The pace on the outside of the man. And when he cut that ball in, Robinson was the Brighton player who might well have made contact. Moran was with him, and Duxbury got it out for this corner kick. Good job of that. Stevens for Brighton. Smiley. And Gatting has jumped for that. Howlett now for Brighton. Oh, he's made a shot. It struck Smith and it's given Manchester United a chance to break with Brian Robson 
leading the forward thrust, pursued by Ryan. And Jerry Ryan, who hasn't obviously played as long as Brian Robson in this match. Predictably the fitter man there. This is the time when cramp normally creeps in at Wembley, in extra time. Players who've not been used to the pitch sometimes suffer. Here's Whiteside back to Robson. Duxbury looping it forward for Whiteside. Howlett's in well. And the throw goes to Brighton. And I think 20-year-old Gary Howlett could be the first victim of cramp. Wilkins to Murin. And Stapleton was nearly in. How well Gatting read that. Orbiston. Duxbury. And it's Davis working intelligently down that right-hand side. White side. Duxbury is in support again. They've got Robson and Stapleton in the middle. Appeals for handball against Pierce. Referee doesn't give it. And Brighton can move away. With Tony Grealish. Well played by him. He found a way past Ray Wilkins so easily. And here's Ryan. Robinson calling on the far side of the penalty area for a long cross. And that wasn't the one he wanted. Instead, Manchester United with Stapleton. Two to his right. White side going to the left now. And Davis here. White side. Tackle was by Ryan. What a good job he's done at right back as the referee brings the first period of extra time to a close with the score still 2-2. Jimmy Hill. The disappointing part of the United team, and I don't wish to harp on it, but it's in such contrast to the sharp part of the Brighton team. That's the central defenders. Gatting is exceedingly nimble there alongside Gary Stevens, and they're still very fresh. But if Brighton do get the chance to attack, there's a certain sluggishness in the centre of the United defence, which would give them their best chance of scoring. And it almost seems that there's not, a left, not enough punch left in either side, really, to end this contest decisively. And we shall be here again on Thursday. Well, if we are, Jimmy, here's Smith for Brighton. Robinson. And it's still Michael Robinson, that's a useful run. And here's Grealish, who missed kicked. Smith also missed kicked. Oh, I must say, that was a good opening for Brighton. And if we are here on Thursday, they would have Steve Foster back to lead the team, because his suspension is completed by missing today's match. Foster could play in a replay, but I should add that Remy Moses couldn't. The way uh, Stevens and Gatting have played at the back, uh, don't think Foster's been missed the way people thought. Case going forward. McQueen. And now Muren looks to put Whiteside away. That's a lovely ball by Arnie Muren. And Orbiston's made a great run from fullback to support the attack. He's in the penalty area now. Whiteside, not the best of passes. Muren, and neither was that the best of touches from him. destined to contest the FA Cup to the very last, but you think back to that third round replay at Newcastle when they survived two disallowed Newcastle goals in the dying period, then they won at Liverpool. Two-two two then, Wilkins for Manchester United. Duxbury. Davis. Kevin Moore, socks rolled down. Robson. And most players now with their socks around their ankles. Certainly on the Manchester United side. Here's Moore. Robson in to Wilkins. Here's Robson. Got a little touch. White side. Robson appeals. He was blocked. But no.
case there for a penalty. Referee was right. Smith. Now, the little Scottish trick didn't work there for Gordon Smith. He lost possession. And here's Brian Robson for United. Murin. White side. That's a useful ball to Orbiston. And they've got four players in the centre. Stapleton. Orbiston. In the way was Greenish. Who's played a powerful role for Brighton in terms of midfield tenacity and also leadership in Foster's absence as captain. Tony Grealish. Robson. White side. Can he set something up here for United? And it was away by Gatting as Stapleton challenged. Brilliant defensive header. and then by Stevens. Murin for United. And Wilkins could strike one from here, maybe. Came off two defenders to Whiteside. Orbiston got it back in. Robson got a header on it. Appeals for handball. But Stevens was in there again. That was a survival job for Brighton, but they managed it as Brian Robson threatened to get the winner. Pierce. And the United fans whose cheers were caught in their throats in the normal period see their team defend again. Howlett. What a good turn by Gary Howlett. Not a bad pass either. Grealish. Casey standing just behind him. Out on the right, there's Jerry Ryan. Ten minutes left. Smiley. And Grealish again. Just slightly tired there in the way he tried to pass the ball, and it gives Wilkins the chance to seek out offside Norman Whiteside. Well, that Stevens is remarkable. He's managed three or four times when it looked as if United were through and had just the final blow to drive home. He's managed to get a foot or a leg or a chest or something in front of it. A remarkable game. I can remember him playing very well for Brighton when Foster is out before in that central defensive position. And there's obviously a player not only interesting, maybe <laughs> to the better clubs, but interesting to England as well because it's been an outstanding performance today under extremely difficult conditions. Yes, Bobby Robson is here, and Stevens has played recently for the under-21s against Hungary, so he's one for the future. Born not far from here, actually, at uh, Hillingdon, Gary Stevens, and that was Smiley who felt the full effects of the challenge by Ray Wilkins. Driven forward by Stevens, an accurate ball to Robinson. And now McQueen. Robson for Manchester United. Trying to find Whiteside offside anyway, but the referee applies an advantage. Eight minutes left, 2-2, in the 102nd FA Cup final. Murin for United, right side. Against Stevens. And Orbiston against Gatti. McQueen wonders about getting it back down the left. Murin. Oh. Well, the sheer endurance of English players 
from British players. Sometimes one of the most admired qualities about our game. And across the world, they'll be watching this cup final and think, well, how can they keep it going on such a heavy surface for so long? It's a credit to both teams, but Brighton, who refused to admit defeat. Even though they'll be playing second division football next season, they haven't played today like a relegated side. It was always predictable that they would rise to the occasion. Players like Jimmy Case, but what wasn't so predictable was the way Manchester United let the match slip when they appeared to have one hand on the cup. Off the head of Gatting and Stapleton might have just been nudged a bit by Stevens. not enough for the referee to blow up. for Brighton in the last two years with the replay each time we've had to carry the votes over for the man of the match so that we can include the replay who would have thought we went from 1923 to 1970 without a replay in the FA Cup final at Wembley now we could have three in consecutive years We're six minutes away from that happening here's Smith Here's Grealish, worked across to the right to Smiley, and that's his chip, and Grealish is in there, and so was Moran for United. Muran to Whiteside. Robson will swing the ball out to Alan Davis, it's a fine pass. That's also a good challenge by Pierce. the ball running to Duxbury, Wilkins. What have United got left? Up there to get past Gary Stevens, that's for sure. Case tries to find Smiley, although Robinson got nearest to it. Here's Wilkins. And Duxbury feeds the ball inside to Robson. Nicely away from Grealish, Brian Robson and Stapleton, it caught him on the heel. He wasn't quite sure where the ball was, Frank Stapleton. Here's Smiley. It's promising by Smiley. And there are the signs of tiredness. Stapleton. White side. Oh, well, it might have beaten a lesser defender, but it wouldn't beat Gary Stevens on this form. And that's the story here at Wembley. 2 2. Moran. Muran looks for White side. Stevens has gone across. Muran, and Robson is forward, he pushed Pierce. Just over three minutes of extra time remaining. Are we going to see a sensational finish to the FA Cup final, or are we going to see a replay for the third year running? Whiteside and now it's Muran again Orbiston has gone forward to supplement the attack Stapleton he could just knock it back to Muran if he wants Stevens took it away even from Mosley
Green has made his way forward. Robertson's cross, volleyed away by Jimmy Case, and then Gordon Smith, tackle from behind, was penalised, was Moran. Just two minutes of extra time left, plus what the referee may decide to add on for stoppages in extra time. But there won't be, perhaps, so much of that. Gatting takes the kick. Smith. Ryan has made a run forward for Brighton. And Bailey comes to meet Robinson and takes the ball beautifully. Kick by Bailey, Stevens jumping, Whiteside handball! Handball the second time that Whiteside has put the ball into the net after using his hand. I think the fans at the other end of the stadium would only have seen that from behind. Just living in hope, the United faithful, but a minute to go and still 2-2. as managers tend to do when there's no presentation torn between congratulating their players and suggesting maybe a joint lap of honour but you don't really know who feels most off the hook possibly the happiest man in the stadium is Steve Foster because he can play for Brighton in the replay he is now eligible so there are smiles there. And as Manchester United salute their supporters, one wonders whether they will change their team for Thursday. There are still options open to Ron Atkinson. It's not to say that Alan Davis didn't play well, because he was among their more consistent performers. Brighton saved themselves with two minutes to go. And then Gary Bailey saved Manchester United in the very last seconds of extra time. The final score in the first match after extra time, Brighton and Hove Albion 2, Manchester United 2.